Oh, forgot to uh, talk about what actual values I used in the in the star project. Uh, as you can see here, there's 110k resistors because I have a lot of them. Uh, it's not particularly critical. 10k, 100k would do fine. Uh, 10 nano again because I have a lot of them. Uh, no other reason. Uh, 100 ohm, 100 ohm because it was an acceptable amount of current through the orange lead and acceptable amount of current through this. Uh, these are 2N3904s and 3906 here, 3904 there. Uh, 1k resistor there. The actual tree has an additional capacitor, as you can see, an additional transistor, as you can see. Additional transistor. Come on, focus up, damn you. Come on. Thank you. Alrighty, in here there's an additional transistor, and you can see it's uh, being used with a, a diode here to provide the, the current into that 1k resistor here. So, uh, let me see. Oops. Try and draw that one handed. Alright, so. Alright, so that point there is actually connected to something that looks like this. And uh, that's your 1k resistor. And we have a diode going like so and we're using capacitively coupled edge triggered logic to uh, to clock it so this goes down to one of the three uh, oscillator rails actually the lowest frequency one and uh, when it goes negative it pulls down this point here momentarily and it will re the capacitor will then recharge back through the diodes so uh, you've actually seen this circuit as well before in some of my other other creations, but um, it provides you know a pulse of of current through this one k resistor to turn it on to to pull down and clock the the star to rotate. Uh, other notes from building the tree, so it's kind of a day nineteen extra as well. Uh, as you can see, each of these has one k resistors. Um, they're just directly the the out the frame, if you like, is a positive rail everything on the outside skeleton of the of the tree is positive the inside as you can see here there are three three negative rails that are the driven by the the oscillators the middle rail here is the, is the positive that goes up and then uh, through this weird little spider that I built out of 10 mega ohm resistors I, I did used a few 10 mega ohm resistors as structural material um, so that goes out to the outer edge here and is the rest of the frame of the the tree and this uh, insulated wire that's running up is a negative power supply for the star so uh, really a mechanical rather than electrical project but uh, a little bit of electronics to make it fun as well the only uh, major defect with it as you can probably see on red leads they don't quite extinguish because the um, the current, there's a little bit of current required for the, the oscillator and at one point I actually had the lowest drop down here and it wasn't so bad but uh, because I'm now using blue leads down here instead of uh, red leads there's a bit of a little bit of current pulled through the red leads but you can hardly see it unless it's in the dark in fact if I hadn't told you you probably would have never known about it until you actually went to build it yourself you can see there if you look end on at the leads Particularly uh, also because these are very high efficiency LEDs, probably uh, a bit of an overkill really for the project. Current wise, let's see, what does it pull? About 200 maybe milliamps peak. That's running off 9 volts. It'll run right down to 5 volts. Uh, so you can probably run it off uh, USB actually, particularly if you fiddled with those 1K resistors and made them a bit smaller. or it's ridiculously bright now, it will probably be just fine running off 5 volts as is. Alrighty, uh, Merry Christmas! Day 24, coming up soon.